Hey everyone, so this is probably going to be a completely random pointless video, but uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to do this video in hope to give you guys um, updates and stuff, I guess, even though I probably already did that in the last video, but yeah, anyways, um, so I'm having one of them days where I decided that I was going to start tidying my bedroom, I've been tidying my bedroom for like the past four hours and now I'm just like, oh, I can't bother anymore and I've just got so much stuff to get rid of and there's so much stuff to tidy up and... I just, I just can't be bothered, and I ended up finding like a really random colouring book, and yeah, this is my life, I, I, I just don't even know what I'm doing anymore, um, so yes, a 20 year old colouring in a, uh, Disney colouring book, but, uh, what the hell, it's fun, it gives me something to do, and colouring is awesome as well, you're never too old to use a colouring book, um, but yeah, anyways, um, first of all, I'd just like to thank you all for the 3,544 subscribers. I've not looked at that number in a while and I didn't realise that we actually had like over 3,000 subscribers so that is awesome. I've also recently put a new profile picture thingy on as well. This isn't going to focus. Nope, it's going to be a complete pain in the backside but basically it's just like a picture of all the animals on one picture thingy my bob and I'm currently using like one of my really old channel art things which I need to update at some point but um yeah do you like my computer screen this is what I did to it I um I kind of chapped the laptop charger in it when I closed it so now I have like this massive black and well it changes color um, but I have like this massive mark all in the corner so it makes things really awkward to uh see things and then also I have another little one coming over there as well, so I get the feeling that's going to like spread all the way across my screen at some point. Um, but yeah, anyways, completely random, pointless video, I guess. Um, yes, whilst I'm doing this, I might as well just do do a mini haul kind of video thingy my bob whilst I'm recording, I guess. So I got like a couple of things for the pets. My sister gave me a box for the gerbils so they can have fun chewing that up later. Um, but I went to Wilkinson's and um, some other pet shop thing, it's a local pet shop, I can't for the life of me remember the name of it, but um, yeah, I just bought the pets a couple of things, mainly essential things, but I got four packets of the paper pet bedding because I have none at the minute and I'm currently using ripped up toilet tissue, which is a complete and utter pain because Remy pees on it all the time and it kind of sticks to his cage and stuff, so I did get four packs of those, they were... I think they're like a pound each although it's not that great for the hamsters but it's brilliant for the gerbils um i just can't find any oh wait i have like five packets of j cloth bedding oh my gosh i completely forgot i ordered like five packets from Viovet ages ago so i didn't even need that oh bugger um never mind um i got two packets of easy bed pet bedding um from that pet shop, I can't remember the name, but it's the place I got Bruno from. Um, but I use this for the gerbils. I use a bag every time I clean their cage out. Um, so this is just £1.25. I'm not too sure how big the bags are, but there's plenty in there for one cage clean out for the boys because I put a bag of that in. Then I also put a bag of hay in as well. So yeah, I got some of that. It's actually really, really nice bedding and I do really like it for the gerbils. Um, there we go. It's called Pets Emporium that's the place um i got a, another fiddlesticks bridge i have no idea why i bought this it was just there so i thought i might as well get one because i've got quite a lot now and i think they're getting a little bit old so i think some of them need to go in the bin but that was just 1.99 um i then went to wilkinson's and i got these for the gerbils this camera is going to not focus today there we go so i got a fun ball trio so obviously it's got the um rattan seagrass and water hyacinth balls in there so it's just three small ones um gerbils absolutely love these and i usually like high treats and stuff in that top one for them um so for those it was this isn't helpful it just literally on the receipt it's got wilco small animal wilco small animal wilco small animal so i literally can't tell the difference between which one was which and how much it was um but i think those were like 2.99 or something like that for those um i then bought 
some of the Wilco Dandelion and Green Oat again for the gerbils now. I usually mix this in with the hay and things just so that it gives them a little bit of variety. Um, they don't usually tend to eat it but it just kind of helps them with their burrows and it just gives them something a little bit different to use. Um, I sometimes hide treats in their little metal ball thing and then put like hay and stuff in there and usually mix this in with it as well and they usually add it to their bed and stuff. Um, so for that I think it was about £2.50. Um, I sometimes give this to the hamsters, they don't really bother with it but it's like a little forage kind of thing I sometimes put it in but you know they never really pay much attention to that. Um, and then I got the boys an alfalfa ring. So again, they don't really eat it, they use it more to add to their burrows and they absolutely love chewing this up so I got them one of those and I think this was, I think this was about £3.50, I think this was probably like the most expensive thing I got from there. Um, and then I just got two bales, well two bales, uh, two packets of um, Smart Petwood shavings. Now I do usually use Megazorb and at the moment I can't get to the shop because of my stepdad's at work and it's a farm shop and it's like a fair way away um, and obviously I can't just bring a bag of Megazord back on the bus so um, for temporary I did just buy a couple of these for the hamsters just so that I could do a quick cage clean out because of Bear has flooded her cage um, she chews her water bottle and she's completely flooded her cage so um, where the water bottle is I can't kind of just need to take all the bedding out of that corner and just like put some fresh bedding down so I got a couple of these for temporary and those were two for a pound from I think Poundland, Poundworld, um, whichever pound shop place it is but I don't particularly like using wood shavings but I have no other alternative because I had the last two bags of easy bed as well um and they didn't really have any easy bed in the back to kind of like bag up for me at the time so um yeah unfortunately I'm kind of stuck with like wood shavings if needs be but I am going to try and use this stuff first and then I'll use that if I absolutely have to um so yeah anyways told you this was probably going to be a completely random pointless babbling video um updates there we go that's what i was planning on doing in this video um for those of you who don't know i did get another pet i got a little mouse and he's called bruno he's a chocolate colored i believe with like a couple of white patches i don't know the mouse colored terminology things um but yeah anyways um he's from the same place i got remy so he is probably related to remy somehow because they do breed all of their own mice um so that's somewhere long way down the line he is probably related um Remy's over there in his big castle and then Bruno lives in the Duna Multi. We've got Butterscotch in the Fair Plus Mary and then we've got Bear in the um, Alaska. Um, unfortunately, Munchkin did actually pass away. She passed away uh, probably a month ago, if not more. Some stupid kids are screaming outside and now my dog is going crazy. Go away, children. Um, yeah. But Munchkin passed away, I think, probably over a month ago now. Um, she scared the hell out of me, I'll be honest. Um, she kind of, like, had a fit and she was squeaking constantly non-stop. And, um, you know, I phoned the vet that morning and they were like, well, we'll phone you back as soon as we could get an emergency appointment. And then by the time they phoned me back, I think they phoned me back, like, an hour later, because um, they said they had a cancellation that I could come in pretty much there and then. Um, phoned me back an hour later, went to go check on Munchkin and she was no longer with me. Um, so that was really, really upsetting and um, I really did not take that too well. It really upset me and I still can't believe that I don't have Munchkin because of she was just like my little crazy untamable hamster and yeah, um, that, did, that did really upset me and um, kind of very, very disappointed that we actually lost Munchkin. Um, because she was like one of my last remaining like old crew kind of hamster um so the only one i have left of the older hamsters now is blizz um so yeah if i just take a trip over to this side of my bedroom uh, we've got blizzard and nemo in the bin cages then we've got bubble and squeak in their gerbilarium bubble and squeak are awake so you'll probably see them like digging around and throwing bed in those kids are absolutely doing my head in right now oh children please go home go to bed go do something um yeah so blizzard's in the top one nemo's in the one underneath then you've got the boys there all the cages need cleaning out so they are like a complete and a mess right now um but blizz is the last remaining old hamster oh he's awake he's there look at him um he currently has to have eye drops i don't know if i've mentioned that but he has to have eye drops to help his eyes because of 
uh, his eyesight isn't all that great and also he's they're not proper eye drops it just kind of like lubricates the eyes so that he can open his eyes properly because of he has trouble opening his eyes and stuff at the minute because he is so old um he's lost quite a lot of weight as well hence the reason why he's in a bin cage because of it's just easy to get around um yeah Nini is in there he's just crazy he just digs and digs and and just digs he doesn't really do much else I think he should have been born a gerbil really um, he's doing really well. They're all doing really, really well, actually, considering. Um, sorry about that. I thought my sister was going to walk in my bedroom and it will look a little bit crazy, me kind of sitting here talking to a camera. Um, I've been on YouTube nearly, I think I've been on YouTube over two years and my family still don't know about it, so it's pretty crazy. They just kind of think I'm talking to my friends on Skype and stuff all the time. Um, I don't have any intentions to tell them about YouTube, to be honest, because they probably think I'm a complete and a nut job. Um, but yeah, what else can I say? Pets are doing really well. Uh, Storm's actually doing fantastic. We've uh, we've managed to uh, do a lot of work with Storm recently, so that's cool. I've tried to get like vlogs and stuff of him at some point because of I did promise videos and stuff, but it's kind of not really happened because of again nobody knows about YouTube at the farm, so it would look a little bit weird me just kind of sitting there talking to a camera. But anyways, check out the tunnels. How awesome is that? They're really like deep and far back and stuff. So this tunnel actually goes all the way through to the back of the tank. Um, and yeah, the bedding I use, um, like I said, is the easy bed, the Wilco's paper flake bedding, um, a bit of ripped up toilet tissue, hay, and their tunnels hold up perfectly. They've also got a bit of a toy kind of in the middle of that, hence the reason why it does hold up quite well, but it runs all the way back there. And that's literally just because I've got a lot of bedding and the bedding all molds together and just holds them so well um like when you use wood shavings and stuff i have seen people use wood shavings for gerbils and stuff and personally i just don't think it holds up that well my sister used to use wood shavings and their tunnels were just pants and they just used to collapse and they just used to spend all this time digging and it wasn't getting them nowhere and i felt really tight because they'd spend all night digging and then they just have to do the same thing the next night so you know i spend a lot of money on bedding but they enjoy it so that's cool um, I'm trying to think of what else I can update you on really. Nothing much has really happened. Um, all the pets are doing really well, dogs are doing well, cats are doing really well. Um, I don't really update much on the dogs and cats because they're not actually mine, they're kind of like more family pets and my parents pay for them so I kind of feel a bit weird doing videos and stuff on them. Um, yeah, check out all that. I have to tidy up all this, I have to go through all of my toys and stuff. My bedroom floor is a mess right now because of the gerbils. Um, I have to hoover. Uh, but yeah, all of the toys, plus more. I've got that lot, that lot, some stuff up there, all that. And then those drawer thingies underneath Remy's cage are full of toys as well. Um, and then obviously all their cages have got toys in, so you can imagine how many toys I actually have. Um, so, yeah, they cost me an absolute fortune. Uh, but I love them. Oh, look at Blizz. He's up there. Hello! He used to be so fat but now he's just lost so much weight and it's kind of sad seeing him like that but I know he's old, he's over two years old now so you know it is to be expected I guess but he doesn't really do much anymore, he's got all these toys but he doesn't use them but I always make sure he has toys just in case but he just kind of goes to his water bottle, goes to bed and then goes to his food bowl, that's literally it, he just sleeps all the time, he's not really that social anymore either but what can you do? He's an old boy and I love him to pieces. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Rambly video, I don't really know. I have like a ton of food everywhere. Okay, so one thing I want to point out actually is that because um, I obviously mentioned in my last video that I had just lost my job because I kind of got sacked because of basically I said I needed more money and more hours and everything and I said I was looking for another job blah 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 anyway long story short everyone's like oh well you clearly can't afford your pets anymore because of you don't have a job um cut a long story short I can afford my pets I have so many saving accounts it's unbelievable I've been working for the past two years full time um and you know I've got savings from when I was a kid because obviously my mum used to set up a savings account I've got money saved from my job um, I've got my wages still to be paid to me from my previous job you know I've got money here left right and centre and everyone's like oh well, you clearly can't afford your pets but the thing is I live at home with my parents therefore I don't have any bills to pay therefore I am very very lucky compared to quite a lot of people because of I have the um 
obviously the advantage, I guess, to live with my parents, whereas some people don't. They kind of just move out the parents and their parents won't have them back, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Stuff happens, they fall out of the parents, whatever. Um, but I am very, very lucky because my parents let me live here and obviously they clearly know about all the animals and they are very supportive and they do know that I have as many animals as I have and I always talk to them before getting another pet and you know we always sit down and discuss my finances before I do get another pet and we discuss the fact of if I ever lose my job will I have enough money to support them and everything till I do get a new job um basically I can afford the pets guys um, my pets will not go without even though I have not got a job at the moment um I've explained to someone, you know, Storm cost me £140 a month and that's with like all his bedding, his food, everything else included and then he just needs his feet doing every six weeks which is £20 and then every 12 weeks he's, every 12 weeks he has a wormer which is about £10 to £15. Um, the small pets, you've seen how much stuff I've got for them, I've got a ton of stuff everywhere, they're not going without food, I mean that's all of their food. The boys have got hay, they've got toys, they've got bedding, they really, really do not need anything um, but I'd say the most they cost me is probably about £50 a month and then obviously if they do need a vet I do have a vet fund set up at the side as well which is another bank account which I don't touch unless I absolutely need it so um yeah anyways cut my babbling short I do have enough money for the pets so please don't be like oh my gosh you don't have enough money to animals how do you cope like I already said I don't pay for the dogs or the cats um my parents pay for those so I just literally pay for the hamsters the gerbils the mice and obviously storm so Storm is the most expensive, obviously, but I do have enough money to support them and my parents have been really supportive and they have helped me out a lot, so, you know, I'm really, really grateful to them for that. Um, yeah, anyways, I think this has just kind of turned into a really, really rambly video. Cute pictures. I'm in the process of putting, like, pictures and stuff up on my walls right now. I've been living here for nearly, nearly a year, nearly two years, maybe. Um, I've still not decorated because I can't be bothered because... It's just so much effort when you have so many pets and you just have to like pull them out of your bedroom and pull the paper down and do painting and I just I just can't deal with that right now. But I have slowly started to put some pictures up. Um, I've got a picture wall going on on that little bit where my door is. So yeah, um, yes, I think that is pretty much everything. Ooh, is anyone else obsessed with this? I'm just like going crazy now. But this song, seriously, I have had it on full blast for like the past hour just on replay because of it is so freaking oh, obsessive. I don't even know, but it's just so catchy and I'm just there. I was at the farm before just humming along and I was just like, oh my gosh, and I love it. I don't even know why, but yeah, that is pretty much what it's called. I don't know why I'm obsessed, but I'm obsessed. So yeah, ooh, two new updates on Instagram. Let's have a look. I will have a look at those in a little while. Oh, by the way, I do have Instagram. I mentioned this in the last video thingy mob, I think. My name's basically LAWA underscore A double N E. And I've had so many followers in like the past couple of hours, and I've had so many messages and stuff, and it's crashed my phone up. So I will try to reply to them at some point because I don't think you can reply on a computer. But yeah, I just post a ton of pet pictures, pet videos, everything on there. Um, Facebook, I don't really bother with. Um, a couple of people have me on that, but that's kind of like more of my personal thing, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go now because this video is super long and uh, you guys are probably bored right now. But um, yeah, let me know what videos you want because of, I don't have anything else to do in my time right now. Um, yeah, just just let me know what you want to see. If you want a Q&A video, I'll do a Q&A video. I tried to do an FAQs video before. And then I recorded the whole video and realised that my microphone wasn't working so I sat there talking to a laptop and then, uh, you know, I didn't have no sound so that was like a waste of about an hour. Uh, so yeah, Miss Barch who was awake. Ugh, hi bear, I see you, she's like mother. I would go and see her but I have to walk kind of like round the laptop and every time you knock the laptop it goes off so yeah. I'll get you out in a minute, she's like mother it's playtime. She's got my wait like half an hour. Half an hour till playtime. She's on a very strict uh, routine because otherwise she's an absolute cow. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go sort out my fur babies and finish colouring in Mikey and Sully and just do whatever I do with my time. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for the support. And if you stay to the end of this video, then you're awesome because I'd probably get like bored as hell listening to me just rambling on about stuff. So yes, thank you so, 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 so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I literally like... I don't know what I'd do about you guys. Um, I don't know what I'd do about my fur babies, actually, to be honest. Um, they've helped me through a lot, and you guys have actually helped me through quite a lot recently as well, so thank you for that. But yeah, I am actually going now, so thank you for watching, and please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. 
Bye.